Hello everyone, I'm Vladimir. Welcome to Geonode's daily series, where you get an effect in 5 minutes or less. Today I want to revisit the typing procedural effect to make full use of the new nodes. So let's get started. Let's add uh, an object, doesn't matter what. We will add the um, geometry nodes tree. And uh, we start by adding from the new section text the string to curb node. Okay, let's add also an input uh, string node and let's type something. Let's say Blender. Okay, by connecting this here, we get our text. So let's check it out. Okay, quickly let's add uh, a fill to see the text better. Now we can kill the background and we have our text here. So how can we con uh, control this procedurally? Okay, first things first, let's go to text series, let's add this node, string, substring. And now by increasing this value, we get our effect. It's a lot easier than the tutorial that I did before. But I said that we are going to do this procedurally, so let's do just that. Let's add another node, let's add uh, from the text uh, section the string length, that will give us the length of our text. So let's plug this one here. Okay, let's now add from the utility section. Let's add a clamp node. And we want to clamp to the maximum length of our string. So we just did that. Now we will plug this one here and we can control now with a value. Input value node. We can control the effect. So now it doesn't matter how long we go. It will stop when the text will end. So let's put things a little bit further. Let's turn this into a frame. Now we have the frame here. And now the timeline controls the text, the effect. Let's control it even further. Let's add a utilities math node. What do we want to do in this one? We want to switch it to snap. We want another value node. Let's say this that we want to change every frame to every letter to five frames. So let's put a five here. Now this will be our snapping value. We will fit the frame here and we will duplicate this node, switch it to divide. We will fit this value here and we will divide it by the same number here and plug this into our clamp node here. I'm sorry. So what did we accomplish? Now we increment with this node every five frames. Now we make sure that in the increment it's in steps of one. So now we get our effect. Okay, so because we finished in less than five minutes, let's do a little bit of work on this text. Let's make it 3D. So adding a solidify modifier increase the thickness to a value, then let's add a bevel modifier. Uh, if I can find it, it's here. So we go to our bevel modifier, let's give it two segments and increase the bevel value. Okay, so now we have a bevel text. So now going back to our geometry nodes, because we still have a little bit of time, let's shade it smooth. How we can do this? Let's add an attribute, fill, let's plug it here. Let's uh, check for the shade smooth and we want a boolean and we plug it here. Now we have a shade, smooth shade text. That will be all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. All is left to do for you is to shade this. So check out the new and improved typing effect. I'm gonna make this full screen so you can see the node tree. Thank you again for watching and see you tomorrow in the next daily tip of Geonodes. Until then, have a nice day.